Hello everyone and thanks for joining me. Here we want to continue module 2 to the second section where we're going to talk about discrete uniform random variable and binomial random variable. So first we're going to start with uniform uh, probability distribution and then we'll talk about Bernoulli trials which leads us to binomial uh, probability distribution. And you can learn about these topics in these sections of the textbook. The families of discrete probability distributions are listed here. Uh, we have discrete uniform, we have Bernoulli binomial, negative binomial, geometric, and Poisson. And we'll talk about uh, most of these random uh, variables uh, during this course. So let's start with discrete uniform first. Well, suppose that x is a discrete uniform random variable over the integer set of a, a plus 1, all the way to b. So this is the range of this random variable x from any integer to another integer. So a is the starting point, b is the ending point. The values in the range are equally likely, and that is the main characteristic of a discrete uniform random variable. The values in that range are equally likely. So if you have n values in the range, the probability of each of those is just 1 over n because they're equally likely. The way that we uh, notate the discrete uniform random variable is we say that x follows discrete uniform and we would have to mention the uh, starting and ending point of its range. For example, you can have, you know, x follows discrete uniform from, from 1 to 20, for example. And that means all the values in that range are equally likely. For a good summary of all of these discrete uh, random variables and their formulas and characteristics, you can find this PDF on Blackboard where uh, I summarized all of these random variables. So let's move on to PMF function of a discrete random variable. And as you can see, it has this close formula uh, that is a function of B and A. So as long as you know the starting point and ending point of the uh, range of random variable, you can uh, calculate all the probabilities associated with uh, values in the range. In fact, for discrete uniform, it's just going to be uh, it's the same for all the values in that range. You know, taking the same example of x discrete uniform 1 to 20, the PMF would be 1 over 20 minus 1 plus 1, so 1 over 20. You had 20 points in that range, so 1 over 20 is the probability of each of them. They're equally likely. Expected value is just a plus b over 2 has this closed form formula, so 1 plus 20 over 2, so 10.5 is the average or expected value of this random variable. And for standard deviation, you would use this formula. Again, it's a function of BNA. Well, you know that this is for standard deviation. If you're looking for variance, you just take this square root off, and that will be the uh, variance. So let's take a look at one example here. Here it says the first digit of a part's serial number is equally likely to be the digits uh, 0 through 9. Well, the key information, the key piece of information here is the equally likely term. And that's always an indicator that it, this might be the uh, uniform random variable x is the first digit of a serial number. Thus, x has a discrete uniform distribution as it's shown. So this is why it's called uniform. You can see that's uniformly distributed between 0 and 9. And what we have on the y-axis is f of x. So that's essentially the probability of x being equal to any 
value of x in the range, and that range is 0 to 9. So if I ask you what's the PMF of this random variable, well, you know that it's discrete uniform, and the way that you notate that is D follows discrete uniform with 0 and 9. So PMF is just 1 over B minus A plus 1, so 1 over 9 minus 0 plus 1, 1 tenth. Expected value, A plus B over 2. And standard deviation is 2.87. So when we say the PMF is 1 tenth, uh, you probably used to the P PMF uh, function as a list, right, of values in that range. Well, it's just for discrete uniform, all of those probabilities are the same. You know, f of x at 0, 1, 2, all the way to 9, their probability is 1 tenth. That's why we don't write it as a list. We just say it's 1 tenth. Let's look at another example. Here, this one says, a warehouse receives orders from a particular product on a regular basis. When an order is placed, customers can order one, two, three, or four units of product. Historical data suggests that the size of any given order is equally likely to be any of the four sizes. Again, the key piece of information here is equally likely. That means this random variable is going to be uniform, most likely. Let x denote the size of an order. Well, that's assure you that x is going to be a discrete uniform random variable. What kind of random variable do we have? You basically say x follows discrete uniform of 1 and 4. Right? The starting point of that range and the ending point. Identify the probability mass function of x. Well, that's 1 over b minus a plus 1, so 1 fourth. Uh, find the probability that a customer orders at least two units. At least two units means probability that x is greater than or equal to 2, right? 2 or larger. And that is... Probability of x equals to 2 plus probability of x equals to 3 plus probability of x equals to 4, and that is 3 fourth, right? Probability of each of them is just 1 fourth. So the summation is 3 fourth. And part D says find the mean and standard deviation of customer order size. And customer order size is just random variable x. So we want to calculate the expected value of x and standard deviation of x. So discrete uniform is probably the simplest form of any random variable. The probabilities of the random variable in that range uh, are equally likely, and uh, it has two parameters, the starting point and the ending point of the range, A and B, and uh, that's it. We're going to be looking at uh, Bernoulli trial and binomial random variable in the next video.